Hi, my name is Kent Lee and I teach computer science here at Luther College. Um, in this video I am going to introduce you to dictionaries and what a dictionary can do for you in Python. A dictionary is like a uh, like a list in some ways. Um, it is a sequence. Uh, there, but a dictionary is a little bit different as well. If we were to look at a list, let's just take a look at a list here for example. Um, when we construct a list, we might, for example, um, decide that we're going to put some names in a list here. And uh, let's just uh, put a few names in a list here. Um, Kent, Sophus, and uh, how about Lee? And um, so we have three names in a list. And if I wanted to go ahead and get the first uh, name in, a list, in the list here I say list sub 0 and that is equal to Kent and I can do list sub 1 of course and that's Sophus and if I wanted to I could iterate over this list I could for say for uh, uh, name in list here and I could go ahead and, and uh, print uh, name and we could go ahead and see how that works there in terms of going through that sequence so a list is a, in a sense, a list is a mapping, or it's a, it's a list of values, but it is also a mapping from um, indices, in this case 0 and 1, two values. Um, the 0th uh, index maps to Kent, and the 1th one, one th the one index maps to Sophus, and the 2 index maps to Lee. Well, a map or a dictionary is another type of sequence or structure in Python and we can initialize a dictionary to an empty dictionary. Um, so I could say for example dictionary equals an empty, uh, an empty dictionary. Now if I were going to create a an empty list, again a list, an empty list would be something like uh, let's say my list here that would be square brackets. An empty dictionary is empty braces. So you've got to see the difference between the two there. Braces are for dictionaries, square brackets are for lists. With an empty dictionary I can go ahead and start to put values in it. So I could say for example dictionary sub and I put in what's called a key into the dictionary and I map the key to a value. So I can map it to whatever value I want. I could map it, for example, to the integer 0 if I wanted to. Um, if I wanted to map dictionary to uh, dictionary sub sophus to something, I could map that to something as well. And, um, and then finally I could do the same thing with Lee if I'd like to as well. So dictionary sub Lee and that could map to 2 in this case. So if I do something like that I can iterate over this sequence as well for value in dictionary and I could go ahead and print the value. Let's take a look at what that value might be. Print value and just take a look at it see what we've got. And we've got Sophus, Lee, and Kent there. So first of all, a couple things to notice. The values that I had in my dictionary do not come out in the order that I put them in the dictionary. You notice here Sophus came out first and then Lee and then Kent. And, uh, and I put them in in Kent, Sophus, Lee. So it doesn't appear that there seems to be any order to these, to these values in the dictionary. And that's certainly true. We wouldn't count on any ordering of them. Um, and in fact, a dictionary is like a phone book, so I can actually use the, the value, which is actually called a key. So if I were going to write this again, I would say these are the keys of the dictionary. So for key in dictionary. And, um, and then I can go ahead and print the key again. So we can just see we get the same thing as the result. Um, those are called keys in the dictionary. And the dictionary's keys are used to look up the values. So here I'm going to go ahead and look up the values and print both the key and the value pair here. So for key 
in dictionary. Um, and I'm going to print now, print both the key and the dictionary's value for that key. Now here I use square brackets like I'm looking up as if I were looking up an individual item from a list, but the square brackets are used to provide the key to the dictionary so I can look up its associated value. If I do that, run it, you can see here I've got Sophus, which was mapped to one, and you can see up here where I created my dictionary, Sophus was mapped to one, Lee is mapped to two, and that's because I mapped Lee to two, and Kent is mapped to zero, and and that's there because I mapped Kent to zero. So a dictionary is very useful because it's like a phone book. If you think of a phone book, you look up somebody's name, you find their phone number. In this case, the name is the key, and the phone number is the value that we're looking up. Now what's really powerful about a dictionary is that the keys and the values can be literally anything that you want them to be in Python. So, for example, if I wanted to map um, the, so let's say, the names Sophus, Lee, and Kent to their names of their pets that they, that they had, um, we could certainly do that. So, for example, I could, create a, I could create a pets dictionary. I could initialize that to the empty dictionary, and then I can go ahead and um, start putting in key value pairs. So I could say that Kent's um, pet is equal to Mesa. Okay, and I could say that uh, Sophus's pet is equal to Smudge. And I could say that, uh, that Lee's pet is equal to um, uh, Lassie, let's say, for example. Okay, so now I can say for uh, name in, or let's say owner, for owner in dictionary, because the owners are the keys in this case, and the pet names are the uh, associated, or what the owner's name maps to, and so we'll go ahead and say here that the uh, pet name is equal to um, pets sub owner. So we can see that we can get the pet name that way. And then we'll go ahead and print both the owner and the pet name. So we can see again how this works. So Sophus maps to Smudge, Lee maps to Lassie, Kent maps to Mesa. We have both owner and pet name uh, key value pairs is what we call them in a dictionary, key value pairs. So some things to know about a dictionary. When you construct a dictionary, you construct it by creating an empty dictionary and you do that with braces. To map a particular key to its value, you write, you use square brackets to put in the key to the dictionary and map it to its value. Um, when you choose to go through a dictionary, as in a for loop here, you're going to be going through the keys in the dictionary, and you can look up a particular value that a key maps to by saying the name of the dictionary, sub the key that you want to provide, and that will give you, again, the value that it maps to. Each of the keys in the dictionary have to be unique. Um, that means that you can't have a key repeated twice in the dictionary. The values, however, can be repeated. There is nothing preventing me from saying something like pets, sub, and then I can pick whatever name I like here, um, uh, Joshua is equal to Mesa as well. And so now I have a dictionary where two keys uh, map to the same value. So if I take a look at it here, if I just write out pets, I can see the key value pairs here. Sophus maps to Smudge, Joshua maps to Mesa, 
Lee maps to Lassie, and Kent maps to Mesa. The keys have to be unique, but the values do not have to be unique. So a dictionary, again, is a mapping from keys to values. Key value pairs is what we often call them. Uh, the keys have to be unique and the values do not. So that's your introduction to what a dictionary is in Python.